what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel my name is jacob and this is vintage by jacob if you are new to the channel or you don't know who i am my name is jacob and i am a full-time online reseller of vintage and basically any type of clothing i can get my hands on and resell online i primarily sell on the poshmark app and that is where i make my full-time income uh which is super rad uh, but i also just booted up my instagram page and i'm having a ton of fun making content for that so if you'd like to check it out it is at vintage by jacob underscore i'll also leave a picture right here and a link in the description as well if you'd like to check that out that would be super rad i'm trying to teeter over the 1000 followers mark uh, and I'm getting pretty close so if you could help me out that would be fantastic. If you are new to this channel I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, that's super rad that you stumbled across this video somehow uh, but like I said if you're new I'd like to give you a little bit of insight of what I do on this channel. Uh, so first and foremost I am a full-time reseller and business owner. I sell on the Poshmark app. That is where I make my full-time income. So Pretty much my videos are just a day-to-day -day practice of what I do as a full-time reseller. I just take you through like the ins and outs of my business and I'm having a ton of fun making these videos. A few examples would be like haul videos, what I'm selling videos, uh, uh, different vintage clothing videos. I also have some really fun ones like a vintage outfit challenge. Uh, I show off some of my personal items in my personal closet. Uh, and really, I just try to encapsulate how I make money online doing what I love, which is sourcing and selling vintage clothing. So if that intrigues you and you'd like to support my journey growing my business and being a full-time reseller, I would really appreciate you considering subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell. That could really help me out and you'd be updated every single time I post a video. And it honestly means the world to me to all the people who have already subscribed. It is super cool to watch my channel grow and I think we're building a super rad community here so don't miss out. If you would really like to support this channel, hit the blue thumbs up like button. You've heard the spiel before, all the other YouTubers say it, but it can really help out the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and every single video that has more likes always does better for me. So I would greatly appreciate it if you consider hitting the like button, especially if you genuinely like this video, that can really help me out a bunch. And lastly, uh, hit me up in the comment section down below. I would love to talk to you guys down there and have some dialogue, whether it is, it is feedback, criticism, or you just wanna talk. That would be super rad. Love to talk to you guys down there. All right, so in today's video, I have a very exciting update about my business. Uh, but first, if you're new, I'd just like to show you around the shop quick. This is actually where I resell full time. It is in the basement of my house. Um, so let's go take a look just to give you guys a little insight if you're new. Check this out. So here's actually where I'm filming the video. I have a ring light there. And this is where I take pictures of inventory. I got a bunch of miscellaneous tools and stuff there. Let me step through here. I got some shoes, hats. Here's a ton of random inventory. I gotta get sorted out. Same here. Um, so this big pile of clothes you see right here, uh, this is actually stuff I have to get prepped and shipped out. I got about 50 orders uh, to get shipped out in the morning. So that's really exciting. I came off a very good weekend, roughly $1,200. And over here, this is where I actually store all my inventory uh, or most of the hangable inventory at least. So yeah. that's my shop. All right, so now that you have a little background of where I work and what I do, let's get into the video. All right, so you might have seen in the little uh, shop preview I gave you guys, I have a ton of t-shirts folded up on this table right here. I'm actually gonna flip the camera around and kind of detail some of them for you guys, but check this out. So this is actually, you can see we got Mickey right there, cool fish, a couple more Guy Harvey. Uh, this is actually 105 vintage t-shirts. Um, and let me talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing here. Uh, so yeah, 105 vintage t-shirts. Um, I am actually in the process of negotiating my first wholesale deal. Um, I'm trying to unload 105 
vintage t-shirts onto a vintage t-shirt reseller um, and we are in the middle of negotiations right now uh, and this is a big first step for my business um, I've never been into the wholesale market I have only been a, uh, a a consumer of the wholesale market but never a distributor and I think this is a necessary step in my business and growing my business and ultimately it can just lead to the overall growth of my business and kind of running a one-stop shop operation here hopefully out of my basement one day uh, but you guys will see that as it comes as you as you follow my journey as a business owner and youtuber uh, but yeah I am trying to unload 105 vintage t-shirts on a wholesale deal uh, and I'm super super excited um, I hope everything goes well. I figured I would just take you guys along the back end side of a wholesale deal, one that I'm trying to navigate, and show you guys kind of what t-shirts I'm moving, what I'm expecting to get for them, what, I, what I'm, my overall thoughts on the deal. Um, I'm actually gonna throw the camera up on a tripod, and I'm gonna sit down, have a little discussion with you guys, and show you some cool vintage t-shirts. All right, so first and foremost, I'm sporting this vintage Minnesota Vikings football shirt. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings play tonight. I am from Minnesota. They're my home team. I'm pretty involved in them. I, I have Dalvin Cook on fantasy. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm pretty involved and I need a big game from him tonight uh, in order to win this week. So my fingers are crossed, but yeah, uh, super rad shirt. I detailed it on a video in the past. It's one of my favorite items in my wardrobe, pretty much because the NFL season is here and I get to watch, watch the Vikings play and wear the shirt every week. So. Here we go. But more importantly than that, let's get into the details of this wholesale deal. Uh, so like I said before, I have 105 vintage t-shirts right here. Um, all these vintage t-shirts I acquired personally, whether it was through the bins, the thrift store, um, another reseller, I acquired them somehow. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, uh, numbers on these t-shirts. So. My, my average price per t-shirt, there are some uh, more rare t-shirts in here that I paid more for and there are some um, kind of generic vintage t-shirts that were obviously a lot less to acquire, uh, but my average price point per shirt is just under $3 per shirt. Um, it's right around the $2.80 some odd cents mark. Uh, so so that's what I have into all these shirts so roughly so you could round it up to about three hundred dollars total for all these shirts um, And that's what I have into it on on a business side uh, That's was my cost to acquire these goods these vintage t-shirts and like I said There are some rare t-shirts in here and there are some more generic t-shirts I would say overall a lot of these shirts are grade B vintage. I typically like to grade shirts uh, a B and C so your grade A t-shirts would be like your vintage uh, band shirts, Metallica shirts, your, your old school rock band t-shirts like the Tupac shirts, the rap tees. Uh, the shirts that can fetch like 100 plus dollars, I would say those are grade A t-shirts. Uh, and then you have grade B t-shirts. Uh, they're a bit more generic and not as desirable as uh, grade A t-shirts. Uh, so I would say like a lot of vintage sports teams t-shirts, a lot of... Uh, maybe just like really cool vintage graphics that aren't associated with like what the grade A shirts would be so like like band and rap tees grade B t-shirts um and and I would say a grade B t-shirt is anything between like 30 to 100 dollars would be a good grade B t-shirt um and then lastly grade C t-shirts would be like your most generic vintage t-shirt just like like obscure vintage t-shirts that don't have any iconic or real connection to like anything going on in the in the in the modern world today or anything that really is that desirable but can still be worth a little bit because it is vintage uh, that would be a grade c vintage t-shirt anything that would resell for about 10 to 25 dollars so i said most of these t-shirts are grade b t-shirts uh there are a few grade a t-shirts in here in my opinion there is one that uh is a little hard to comp out uh, I would say if it was in pristine condition, it could be worth several hundred dollars. I'll actually just try to pull it out to show you guys an example. As luck would have it, it was on the very bottom of one of the piles and it took me forever to find it, so I apologize uh, for the wait. Uh, but here's one of the shirts I was talking about. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces uh, inside this bundle. And it is this vintage Elvis Presley t-shirt. Um, this one is actually dates back to 1992 um, 
I'll show you guys the graphic. So check this out. This is a super, super rad t-shirt. T-shirt, it's on the Fruit of the Loom tag, the old one. Um, so this t-shirt does have a few minor holes. Uh, it is very, it has a really good like vintage wash look, uh, but it's not, it is not a pristine uh, shirt by any means like a dead stock piece. So if this was dead stock, it could fetch you know, multiple hundreds of dollars. Uh, but as it sits, it's probably uh, a, a solid $75 t-shirt. Um, so this would be uh, one of the better examples of a grade A t-shirt in this bundle. However, it is not in pristine condition, uh, but I would still classify this as a grade A vintage tee just because of how rare it is. Uh, I just pulled this one off the top of the pile when I put that last t-shirt back. Uh, this would be a good example of a grade C t-shirt. Um, Minnesota South. That's what it says on the front. It's a really cool graphic. It has a lot of really cool colors, uh, but it's nothing like that crazy. Uh, it's kind of just like a generic t-shirt. Uh, I mean, the graphics are cool, but this would probably be a 15 to $18 shirt on the resale market. And I think this is a good example of a grade C t-shirt, but that would be an example of a grade C t-shirt. Um, and here would be an example of a, I would say a grade B t-shirt. Yeah, this is a good example. So this is a vintage Big Dogs t-shirt. Um, if you don't know about Big Dogs, it's a pretty cool brand. Uh, they made a lot of really cool vintage t-shirts in the day. Uh, no, they're no longer in business anymore, but they just had really cool like masculine dog graphics almost. And this is a really cool example of it. Um, and this would probably be a $30 t-shirt on the resale market. So uh, definitely a good grade B t-shirt. Um, so yeah, there are a few grade A's, a lot of grade B's, and uh, a handful of grade C's in this lot. Uh, I'm not gonna go through every t-shirt, but I think I'm just gonna pick some up and show you guys while I talk about the details of this deal. Like I said, I have about $2.80 some odd cents into each t-shirt. Uh, and to be honest, I am looking for about $1,200 for the lot itself, um, which would, bring me around seven or so dollars of profit per shirt, uh, which would be great on my end. Each of these shirts would have at least uh, five to $15 per shirt of resale value. Um, so I think it's a great deal on both ends. I will keep you guys updated as the deal goes through, but that's kind of what I am expecting to get out of these t-shirts. Um, and a lot of you might ask, why don't I just sell these t-shirts myself? I definitely can do that. Uh, but as you understand, 105 t-shirts takes a long time to list. So not only would I be putting time into listing these t-shirts, it would probably take, I would say about 10 to 20 hours of work to list all these t-shirts and have quality listings and comp them out very well um, in order to get the maximum value for them. Uh, but it would also take time uh, just sitting on the t-shirts waiting for them to sell. It's a very valuable aspect of the business as well. You want to keep items moving as fast as you can so you can keep building up your inventory and injecting more items into it. Uh, so if I can sell these fast, I'm going to do it every single time, uh, especially if I make a great profit on it, which I expect to do. Ultimately, if I pieced out each of these items, yes, I could get um, a lot more money for it. But at this point, I've just calculated what it would cost to sit on these items uh, in, in in return getting the money right away for these t-shirts and being and being able to inject it right back into my inventory i think i'm going to go with the wholesale route especially if the numbers work out uh and it's also something i've never done in my business so i'm really excited to try it out so yeah yeah like i said i'm just gonna grab a couple more t-shirts share some of the cool items in this bundle uh and hopefully show you guys just some really cool vintage graphic t-shirts uh so yeah i'm just gonna start grabbing all right Oops. All right, so this one is, I've detailed this on a video in the past when I first got it. This is a vintage uh, Itasca State Park graphic t-shirt, single stitch. Uh, this one is from 1992. Uh, this one is in dead stock condition. Uh, this is a good example of a grade B single stitch. Like I said, it's on the Fruit of the Loom tag. This is probably a 30, $35 shirt on the resale market, um, especially because it's in such good condition. So that's one of the ones in the bundle. Let's see what... What is this guy? Oh, this is a really cool shirt. Uh, this is a vintage, I believe it is a sorority shirt. This one is from 2001. 
It's on an Augusta Sportswear tag made in the USA. Um, uh, this is just like a cool jersey style shirt. This is probably a $18 shirt on the resale market. So in between the grade C and B range, uh, but definitely a really cool shirt. This guy, let's see what this pink one is. Oh, this is a really cool shirt. This is a vintage, what is it, 1994. Uh, this is a MPR graphic shirt. It says Whipper Racing and it has these two like dogs on it. It's just a super sick shirt. It's got a super sick color to it, like that light pink. It's on a Wonita tag, single stitched. Uh, definitely a great B t-shirt. This is a $25 plus t-shirt for sure. So I'm just gonna grab one more to kind of wrap up the video. Um, I think this is it. I could be wrong. Uh, just to show you guys kind of the range of what I'm putting in this bundle. Yep, I was right. This is a vintage Polo Sport Ralph Lauren long sleeve shirt. Uh, it's one of the older ones. It is, it, this one isn't made in the USA, uh, but I would say it's from the early 2000s. Super sick long sleeve shirt. Classic Polo Sport graphic. There's the tag. Um, and yeah, this is probably a $30 to $40 shirt on the resale market. Uh, just an example of what I'm including in there. And yeah, honestly, that's kind of the ins and outs of the deal. Like I said, I'm about just a tad under $3 into each shirt. I'm expecting to get around $10 plus for each shirt, so around $7 profit. Uh, that would be great on my end, and there will be definitely enough resale value in each item uh, for the person I'm passing them on to. So, and it would be another at least $1,000 I can inject into my business and buy new inventory to keep the cycle going. Uh, that is honestly about it. Uh, if you guys would like to see all the graphics I am sending out in this bundle, I'm going to be posting pictures of all the graphics of these bundles on my Instagram page, so make sure to check it out. Uh, it is at vintage by Jacob underscore. I'll leave a picture again, link in the description. I'm trying to get over a thousand followers on that, so help me out with that. Uh, but I'll be slowly posting pics of every single one of these shirts because I think each graphic is super sick, uh, and that would be a perfect platform to curate the graphics on. Uh, so go check out that. Watch my posts on my Instagram page uh, if you're curious about the graphics. That being said, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, if you'd like to support my journey as a business owner and a YouTuber, feel free to hit the subscribe button that you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. Also hit the like button. You heard the spiel, the YouTube algorithm. That can really help me out with the growth of my channel. And if you'd like to talk to me, whether it's feedback or criticism, or you just want to talk, hit me up in the comment section down below. I would love to talk to you guys down there. Upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, it's Monday today, Monday Night Football. Go Vikings. I hope we can beat the Bears. That would be super rad. This is it until Wednesday. I will see you guys then. Peace.